Hey, how you doing, uh, Mr. President? Didn't that sound good? That was good. I'm doing well. Thank you so much. What's up, uh, Senator Obama? How you feeling, man? Well, I'm feeling great. I just want to call real quick to let everybody know they've got to come out and vote. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I want to ask you something real quick because I know I don't have a whole lot of time, okay? And, and I just want to do a couple of fun things with you as well. Um, you know, they have these we, the Democrats out there that are voting, right? Um, come November, if the one they voted for is not the nominee, they're saying they won't vote or they'll give that vote to McCain. What do you say to those voters? You know, I, I think that right now we're in the middle of a big contest. Uh, there's a difference between Senator Clinton and myself in terms of where we need to take the party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but we're going to be unified when it comes to November because, uh, you know, one thing we know is, is that uh, the differences we got with John McCain and the Republicans are a lot bigger than any differences we may have. So what do you say to those voters that, that's saying, hey, I'm not voting at all if my... Uh, candidate is not the nominee, or I'll just give my vote to McCain. What do you say to them to get them out of that mind frame? Because that bothers me. Because we I are. Don't, I don't think they're, they're gonna, not going to be in that mind frame. Because all I've got to tell them is John McCain wants to continue the war. I want to end it. Okay. John McCain wants to continue tax breaks for the wealthy. I want to give tax breaks to the middle class. Okay, good John stuff. John McCain's got no answer to universal health care. I've got a plan to provide universal health care. You know, when people see that choice, they'll say to themselves, you know what? Uh, we've got to make sure that uh, the Democrat wins in the White House. Oh, we, we must do that because we are huge fans on the uh, afternoon thing. Dude. We we call you, oh, my goodness, over here. So. And we have, a, we have a little thing we do. We go, oh, my goodness. See, we call you, oh, my goodness, over here, Senator Obama. Um, well, listen, I appreciate you guys so much. The main thing right now is we just got to pump up the vote. Yeah, everybody's got to go vote. Everybody's yeah, got everybody's got to vote. And we're definitely getting people out there to vote. Uh, last thing I want to ask you, um, we are going through a, a, a mess. This war, uh, the economy, the global warming, it's tons of things that we're all going through. You have, you know, households out there, you got two household incomes barely making 40,000. Um, right. if we take off the politically correct cap for a minute, Senator Obama. I just want you to talk to me and, and, and our listeners as a good friend, because that's what you are to us now. You are a good friend. We love you, and we support you. you. Talk, to us at, talk to us as a good friend, and give us some encouraging words that when you sit in that office, it's going to be all right. Just some encouraging words to get us through, because we've gone through probably some of the toughest times we've ever seen. Well, look, I, you know, I, I don't want five people to think that just because I'm elected, we're going to solve every problem. But right. what I can promise you, that when we pull together, when we work together, we're going to be able to dig ourselves out of any problem. Because, you know, the American people uh, are hardworking. They are uh, full of ingenuity. Uh, they believe in family. They believe in community. we just got to get politics that stops dividing us, a politics that starts uh, putting forward common sense solutions, uh, solutions to some of these problems. And I guarantee you, when we start doing that, there's nothing we can't do. Uh, what I, I just need to make sure, though, everybody turns out to vote. That's how we're going to bring about change. You have to be heard. This is the election to do it. Don't sit it out. We need to make some history right now. Well, I can tell you one thing, buddy. Because of you, this is the first time I've ever voted. I, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> well, and, I appreciate it. Yeah. And there are a whole lot of folks like you bust out there. So make sure you're talking to them. Explain to them why this time is different. If we get a record turnout, and we can really do well in North Carolina and all across the, all across the country. That's what it's going to be all about.